Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been MIA for a while and I'm sorry about that. Life has just been happening. So this is a life update. Um, I have a good amount of stuff to talk about. Um, please don't buy my hair. Just I'm going to do a twist out tomorrow. It's nail Sunday and I got to go back to work tomorrow. Um, but yeah, this is a life update. So Roman is here. He's very grumpy. He will be 11 months old on the 21st. And his first birthday will be September 21st. And I'm so excited because we're going to throw a party for him. And the party will be at our new home. So, guys, I bought a house. Um, we actually close on Wednesday the 15th, which is in three days. I'm very, very, very excited. It took a long time. We started looking at houses on March 1st. Um, so, it's been almost six months. It's a long process. It's an intense process. Um, <laughs> that's Roman. So, like I was saying, it's a long process. It's an intense process. It's taken us almost six months. But... We're three days away and it's almost over. I'm very excited because it's exactly what I wanted. We looked at about, I would say 35, almost 40 houses, which is crazy. We bid on five houses and we kept being outbid. Um, if you don't know anything about the market right now, the housing market is pretty much a seller's market. So the houses are being bought within a month. Um, there are multiple offers, and the winning offer is usually well above asking price. My range was less than $100,000. I was trying to stay in the $80,000 range, um, and that's what I did. It took a long time, but that's exactly what I did. So I'm very excited that the process is almost over. I got everything that I wanted. I wanted a front porch. I wanted a backyard. I wanted a basement. I wanted three bedrooms. Um, and a nice size kitchen, which is exactly what I got. So I'm, I'm just, ugh, I'm elated. Right now I'm a little, it's stressful because you have to close on the house. I have to move out of my apartment. Um, my landlord has been amazing. We've been on the month-to-month -month lease since last summer because I knew I wanted to purchase a home. And you guys all know in 2017 I was working on my credit. My credit increased dramatically. Um, about 100 points in about nine months, I want to say, which is fantastic. Um, and if you like to see another video about that, I can try to make a video about that. Um, for me, it was kind of simple, actually, and I don't know if I have the best advice, but I can try to make a video about that in the future. Um, however, I was pre-approved for a mortgage on March 1st. I started looking for homes on March the 13th, um, and about 40 houses later, we found the one that we wanted. Um, so like I said, I'm moving out of my apartment into the house probably next Saturday, the 18th. Um, I took the entire next week off, the week of the 20th, so that I can just get situated and get organized and get the things that we need and just unpack and do it without stressing. Um, so yeah, it's been a journey. I'm very excited that it's coming to an end. Um, but I finally bought a house, my first house. I'm so proud. I'm so happy. I just can't wait. Like, it's something that I've always, always wanted to do. Um, another update. I'm still at work. Um, I work in an animal facility. Uh, it's interesting, but I'm starting to think about, one, side hustling, and two, um, a change of career. Because I'm not really... I'm a supervisor. I'm not really very passionate about supervising people. Um, I find that people are exhausting. There's millions of attitudes that you have to deal with. And when you're in, in a process that's as difficult as the home buying process, you have to come to work and be prayed up every day, honey. Because if you're not prayed up and then you come in and you deal with the people that I deal with every day, it gets exhausting real quick. You be trying not to smack the bitch. Okay. So... The struggle, we'll just say that. I'm trying to figure out if I should change my career, if I should stick with it, if I should get more certifications. Um, at this point, I can get the management certification, which is a series of four tests. So it'll be, and you have to complete and pass all four tests within 15 months. It'll be intense, but I think it'll be worth it. But at the end of the day, do I want to manage? I barely want to supervise right now. So I'm trying to figure that out and just determine, you know, what exactly I should do. Um, because I've been supervising for three years now. And like I said, I love it. Like, I do like it. 
but you know it really all depends on your staff um, do you like your staff? Do you enjoy working with them? Do you enjoy going to work every day? And right now, it's been because I have so much stress outside of work, going to work is pretty stressful. So I'm not really liking it. But I'm trying to figure out if after we move into the house and my stress level goes down, will I start enjoying my job again? So that's what I'm trying to figure out at this point. Um, what else? Roman's getting bigger. He's about to turn one. We're going to plan a birthday party for him. I've been all over Pinterest. If you're not on my Pinterest, if you don't follow me on Pinterest, please do. It's um, Jaquay Jones. And I, I'll try to link it in the description box below. But my Pinterest is just like all over the place. I have pages about everything. Um, but I'm doing a pumpkin themed birthday party because his birthday is in the fall. It won't be Halloween themed. It's just pumpkin themed. Um, and I think it'll be really, really cute. My cousin is a party planner. She did the baby shower, and I think it'll be so much fun. Uh, Ro Liam is four and a half, and he's going into his second year of pre-kindergarten. So we're getting ready for that. Um, he doesn't want to go back to school. He's been enjoying his summers off. But, uh, yeah, he does not want to go back to school. But we're getting ready for that, buying school clothes, and, you know, just getting him together and getting him prepared to go back to school. Every time I mention school, his face just gets turned up, and he's like, Mom, no. Um, but he will be going back to school. <laughs> and he will be going to school for the next 20 years. So, you know what I mean? Get used to it. Um, what else is happening? I'm still, so I'm actually, after this, I'm going to make a video on my second channel, JJ Says. Um, and that's all about finance. So I'm going to make a video on the home buying process in a little more intricate detail. Um, so please go check that out. And I'll probably put the um, how to improve your credit on that channel as well, just because it's more of a finance channel. Um, <laughs> I will continue to do um, grocery hauls and those type of videos on this channel. I've actually been dabbling in a little bit of lazy keto and intermittent fasting, so I'm going to make a video about that as well. My weight has been really stagnant since having Roman a year ago, and as you guys know, because you've been watching this channel for a while, when I had Liam, it took me until his third birthday, three years, to get off the baby weight, and I refuse to let that much time go by before I can get back to my pre-baby weight with Roman. So I've been, like I said, dabbling with lazy keto and intermittent fasting. My weight is at 289.6 right now. Um, and I started close to like 296. So a few pounds here. I am planning, you know, it's just been so stressful. And I think I've been eating my feelings, but I haven't gained any weight, which is nice. But I haven't really been losing anything either. So I want to lose this weight. I really want to get back down to 235, 230. Um, and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to really go full force with the lazy keto with the intermittent fasting until the end of this year. Um, because when I was pregnant with Liam around his third birthday, it took me three months to lose 60 pounds. So I like, I know it works. I just need to do it. Um, besides that, I just been living my life and trying to be great. Um, I've just been, ugh, I think everything has been going so well because my mindset has changed. The last video I did on this channel was about the law of attraction, but my mindset really has changed. I just live my life to the fullest and I know in my heart that everything is going to work out. And if you really believe that everything is going to work out, everything will work out. Um, so I feel like things have been going great. Um, I really can't complain about anything. I'm just trying to pack up this apartment um, and get ready to move. I feel like I've been trying to plan as much as I can, but at the end of the day, I'm a working mom with two kids. There's really not a lot of hours in the day when it comes down to a lot of extra stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm just living. I'm living life and I'm doing the best that I can and that's all you can do. And if you believe that things are going to turn out great, they will turn out great. Just look at this. Like It took me six months to find a house, but I'm buying the house on my own. I'm buying a house, a mother of two of my own. So I'm just elated. Elated. I'm happy. I'm thrilled. I cannot wait to move into a house that I own and to fix it up. I've always lived in apartments and I've never, ever, ever wanted to fix it up. I've never, my sister just said last week, you don't even utilize this backyard that you have. We have a huge backyard here. We don't even use it because I don't want to get used to living in an apartment. Now that I have a house, I will make it exactly what I want it to be, and I cannot wait. It's going to be fucking fantastic. 
So if you want more updates on just lifestyle things, grocery hauls, eating, weight loss, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification so that you get notifications every time I make a video. If you would like to see finance videos and more information about cleaning up your credit and buying a home, please go subscribe to JJ Says. Um, and I will be posting there as well. Always hit me up on Instagram, The Shrinking Beauty, um, Twitter, College Class 101. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Thank you for coming back. Coming back. Bye.